In reefs, you can hide under the reef itself, or you can look like the reef, you can look like the sand. But in the open ocean, you have essentially nothing to hide behind. There are other animals that have developed a, a sensitivity to what is called polarization. Polarized light has to do with the, the wave nature of the light itself. There's a way that the wave vibrates. There's a directionality to that, which is called the polarization. The open ocean uh, is a very highly polarized environment, one of the highest polarized environments that the animals can live in. We take a uh, video polarization image series of an animal, the fish, and it's held in place with a mesh against a mirror, as well as right nearby is a diffuse metal reflector surface. I would take these fish that we caught earlier in the morning from some local fishermen, and I would put the fish against a mirror with that mesh, and then I'm, I'm pulling back and then communicating or setting the parameters of our video polarimeter that Parrish built and getting it ready for a series of measurements. Once the set is good to go, I communicate with someone on the surface that it's ready to be rotated. We would measure this across a number of different viewing angles as well as body positions and relative angle between the camera, which is our you know, substitute predator, and the fish as it is being viewed with relationship to the sun, as well as when the sun's um, moving across the sky. So when we compared measurements of our open o ocean fish species, they showed significantly lower contrast than species that were endemic to more coastal environments. When the fish is in the full view of a predator, so when it's perpendicular and the largest surface area is available to a predator, this is where these fish minimize their contrast or have the greatest camouflage.